Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this loop in Blender. So let's get started. First let's add a plane and go to geometry nodes and click on new. Delete the group input and add a grid and set the vertices to 100. Add an extrude mesh node and plug the mesh into the mesh. Alt shift click on the extrude mesh node. Add a set material node. Go to the material properties and click on new and select the material here. Add a mix node and put that here. Duplicate it twice and plug the result of this one into B and this one into A. Let's also plug this result into the offset scale. Now open the timeline here. Add a mask wave texture. Set it to 40 and duplicate it. Now plug the height of this one into A and this one into B. For this one set the W to 0 0.05 and for this one to minus 0 0.05 and keyframe both of them. Also set the scale to 10 for both of them. Set the factor here to 0 and keyframe it. Let's do the same here. Add a wave texture and plug the color into A. Set it to set. And let's set the distortion to 14.5 and the scale to 8. Set the phase offset to minus 0.25. Let's keyframe that and duplicate the wave texture. Plug the color into B and set it to 0.25 and keyframe it again. I'm going to set the end frame to 175 and now go to frame 176. Let's set both of these to 1 and keyframe them. For the mask wave textures, let's set this one to minus 0.05 and this one to 0.05 and keyframe them again. Do the same for the phase offset, set this one to 0.25 keyframe it and this one to minus 0.25 and keyframe it. Now if we press play we've got a loop. Make sure the plane and the keyframe nodes are selected. Press A here and T and select linear. It's going too high on the set so let's add a map range node. Put that here and set the from maximum to 10. Add a combine XYZ node and put it here. Let's use the set. Add a color ramp. Put it in between here and set the white to somewhere around here. Now duplicate the color ramp and plug the color into the X and into the Y. Use this result for the factor and bring the white back to somewhere around here. Now let's save. Go to shading. You can render this in Eevee but I'm going to use Cyclas because it looks better. In the word properties go to color and click on disconnect. And let's make this black. Delete the principal BSDF and add an ambient occlusion node. Control shift click on it. Now add a color ramp and bring the black into somewhere around here. I set it to 0.45. Go back to layout node and hit shift A and add a camera. And with the plane selected, press 1 and delete. And press 6 3 times and 8 twice. Press Ctrl Alt 0. Select the camera and press G and set twice to move it back. Set the focal length to 340. Let's move it back even more. Like this. Hit Shift A and add an empty plane axis. Go up here and enable depth of field and move the empty up like this. Select the camera again. In the object data properties, enable depth of field and select the empty. Set the up step to 1.5 and the blades to 16. In the render properties, go to color management and set the view transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. You don't have to do this, but I think it looks better. Now I set the max samples to 512. Go to compositing if you're using cycles. Enable use nodes and enable denoising data and add a denoise node. In the output properties, select an output folder. You can leave the frame rate at 24, but I'm going to set it to 60. If you're using something lower than 60, you might want to change the end frame and the keyframes. I'm going to use JPEG with the quality set to 100%. If you want to speed up the render, you can go up here and enable lock interface. If you're using cycles, you can also enable persistent data. Just be careful with that because it can use a lot of memory. Now save again and press Ctrl F12. Once it's done rendering, close this window and go to video editing. Make sure you're on frame 1. 
each of day, image sequence and find the folder where you have the images, press A and enter. If you changed the color management earlier, you are probably going to see that the Fusion's form is set back to standard. You can also set the look back to none, but you can also leave it at very high contrast. I'm going to leave it at that. You can of course also change the view transform again. I'm going to leave it at standard. Now go back to the output properties, set the file format to FFmpeg video, go to encoding, set the container to MPEG4 and the output quality to high quality. Save again and press Ctrl F12. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you like this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.